said that everyone knew each other and then you knew the same people when you went to high school. If I knew some of the same people because like I transferred with them. Oh my gosh, okay. guys, I'm literally You're a private school kid. Your story is very shifty. We brought together seven private school students. I'm a private school student. I'm a private school student. I am a private school student. I am a private school student. I am a private school student. I'm a private school student. I'm a private school student. Two of them are public school students. If the group discovers who the liars are, they will split a cash prize. If the liars survive, they win the entire prize. Who is the odd one out? What's everybody learning in school? I'm taking film, geometry, Spanish, health and wellness, history, English, and conceptual physics. AP World, English honors, Spanish honors, religion, called like ethics and morality. I'm in English honors, history honors, science honors, Spanish honors as well, and I take art advanced. Math, Hebrew, history, art, science. There's, I just can't think of any more right off the bat. She couldn't remember one of the classes that she attended, which I thought was kind of odd to me since you've been in a class for half a year now. Another thing I, I can't get off my mind, I'm the only one in an actual uniform. <laughs> like, I have a question for you. So what's with the uniform? I have a dress code on a uniform. We're only allowed to wear like baby blue or light blue, gray, navy, and white, but we're only allowed to wear white on Fridays. Yeah, so it's color coded, yeah. Yeah, we have I only wear these on Thursdays because we go to chapel. Ours is just khakis and a polo shirt. His uniform, it didn't look unique to like a private school. Once a month on Fridays, we're allowed to wear jeans. That's what we do on Friday. We wear spirit shirts or jeans. Why don't we go around and say all our grades? I'm in seventh grade. I'm in eighth grade. Yeah, I'm a freshman. I'm a freshman. Eighth grade. Sixth grade. I'm in seventh grade. Yeah, already. <laughs> that was good. That was A lot of the classes that she named were stuff that are my, fr my friends in public school are currently taking. At least in my experience, private schools don't really have sixth grade in it. It's usually seven to 12. A lot of other people here are wearing a lot of like bland colors. She's wearing a bright red shirt, and that kind of stood out to me. There's a tie. The tie is between Hallie and Audrey. So each person has 20 seconds to state their case, starting with Hallie. I'm a private school student. I go to Harvard Westlake. I play volleyball. I'm a libero. The season just ended. I'm part of the BSU video games club and the book club. Okay, my name's Audrey. I go to a private school. I really like innovations. I have a super small class, 10 kids including me. I played school soccer. I really like the science lab and doing experiments. I'm actually really surprised that I lost the tiebreaker. I thought it was gonna be Hallie. Why don't we um, just give like a brief description of what our school's like? I'll go first. It's a decent sized school. We have at least 20 kids in our class, if not less. You know everybody there and it's a high school too. It's a middle school and it's an elementary school. She was very quick to volunteer, which just felt like she was trying to get the group off her back. There's two campuses. There's the lower and upper campus. Right now I'm on the lower campus. In both campuses, I'd say there's about 1,500 people and there's like 15 people in each class. Wait, wait, you said 15? Hundred people in each class. No, 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 no. in the whole in both campuses. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, not in each class. Yeah. Yes, yeah. No. I've been going to private school my entire life. In elementary school, it was really small. Everyone knew each other. The teachers knew the students. The teachers knew the parents. They knew my entire family. If something happens, like in the morning by lunch, everyone knows about it. I had a crush on this boy, and the rumors were going around. I was in fifth grade, and they they called my mom and talked about it, and my mom got so mad. I'm a K through 12 school. So my, my school is pretty big. There's lower school, middle school, and upper school. Right now, I'm obviously in the upper school. We tend to stay away from the seniors. They bully us a lot. Our bathrooms are vandalized by them. So we, we have to use the upper Ours school bathroom. Too. Yeah, exactly. Do you guys want to talk about safety in school? Do you guys feel safe in school? When I was in public school, I never felt unsafe in regards to like physical harm, but definitely in regards to like verbal bullying, that kind of thing. Like I'm gay. 
I wouldn't have felt safe to come out there. Totally. Yeah. At the public school, there's a lot of bullying. There's a lot of teasing. I got teased for being gay in fifth grade before I even knew I was gay. I'm from the Bay Area, so it's kind of a more progressive school. It's a gifted education program, four classes a day, and then Fridays are like a more development day where you kind of do community building, run-of-the-mill Bay Area private school. <laughs> My school's in Arizona, three buildings. There's a cafeteria and gymnasium, a seven to 12 building, and then we have a K through six building. I have honors English, science, social studies, and algebra. Then my two electives are PE and theater. I'm a little suspicious of you. Yeah, same. Oh. Honors English, social studies, those are very, very typical run-of-the-mill public school classes, especially social studies. What's the best thing about your private school? And I'll go first because I used to be in a public school from K through fifth Saint grade, Mark. and then I transferred to uh, St. Margaret's Episcopal School. The change in food, oh <laughs> so my gosh. So the better. public schools, the cheese <laughs> falls off of the pizza. I want to public school for like preschool and the one thing I remember was like the food was free so I was like this is so cool but like now it's like I have to pay for it all the time but it's worth it but Missy just quick back to you you said earlier that you've been in private school your whole life for preschool like, I don't count that like you know yeah all I know is like the food was free but I didn't like it that much my school was like a k-12 to but I transferred in eighth grade to like, another high school I knew everyone so I wanted to like go to a new private school and I like it a lot more now you said that everyone knew each other and then you knew the same people when you went to high school I knew some of the same people because mm. like I transferred with them oh my gosh okay. guys I'm literally your a private school kid your story kid. is very shifty well, can I have your full story I want it I want okay. it beginning to end okay. because it's changed like two different okay. times for preschool I went to Chase Street Elementary kindergarten and I transferred to this other school, I'm not gonna name it because I don't want them to get mad at me. I transferred there, went there for nine years. My sister went to the same high school I do now and she really enjoyed it. So I was like, I wanna transfer there for high school. So I transferred there now, my entire family, we love this school so much. So yeah, I go there. I wish I liked my school. She couldn't keep her story straight, kept getting flustered, generally just suspicious. Bye. I didn't think it was her. I think I definitely got super defensive. I started panicking, talking fast, and I think that didn't help me. Raise your hand if you think that the mole or the moles are still in the box and you would like to continue the game. I'm a little suspicious of you because you said- I'm suspicious of you too, because- <laughs> is, 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 this, is this your school uniform? No, we don't have a school uniform. We have like oh, a dress code. You got the merch. Oh. Wait, so, so what is your dress code? I don't know how to describe it. Like if you put, yeah, fingertips. Yeah. You can't wear bikini straps. Clothes have to like touch fabric to fabric. But for you, I did have a question. You said PE was your elective. For me, it's mandatory. Yeah, oh, yeah. that's- For me, I have an elective as PE. Yeah. PE is, is an elective, but it's a required elective. So you have to fill you a slot for a PE. We have like you dance yeah. you can do Ours, though. There's a mandatory one. You either have to choose the Mozart Performing Arts or you have to choose physical education. So I just chose PE. Does everyone have a, a creed for their school? A what? A creed. Like I've never heard of that. A school creed. Like we are committed to honesty, justice, and learning. We respect yeah. the dignity and worth of all human beings, their thoughts, feelings, and individuality. We have That's we, we have a slogan. Yeah. yeah. yeah ours is ours is learn by doing, learn by caring. Ours is just at Cooley Middle School. We are kind, safe, and honest. We kind of just go by um, Bible verses, like John three sixteen. We're a very Christian school. Okay. We do a lot of chapel, that was praying, be my next and stuff like that. Yeah. Harvard Westlake. We have. Um, like a bunch of things under it, things that you are like supposed to do, kind of like rules. Could you tell us more about your school? Cause yeah, I'm yeah, kind yeah, of a you little. Never <laughs> yeah, really yeah, I can. How can you like elaborate yeah. on your story? Okay, I went to a public elementary school and then I switched in seventh grade. Mm -hmm. Did you so, say you were in sixth grade earlier? No, Sorry? No, no, I never said anything oh, about that. Yeah, seventh geez. grade I switched. So we have two campuses. We have the upper and lower campus. There's about like 1,500 in each and the in whole each, campus, each. not in each. Yeah, in each class there's about 15 people. When you say classes and one bubble moves from world history to math to science, that kind of thing. Yeah, like that. And there are a hundred of those. Okay. It's a really big campus. So. Okay. At our school assemblies, I would like watch videos and stuff like on YouTube because they post literally everything on YouTube for like parents or whatever. How and often then, were your assemblies pre-COVID? They're once a month. Once a month, okay. I'm really debating on either you two right now. Yeah, I just want to hear because a little bit more yeah. about. The way you described your school, like the school name, the once a month assemblies, putting everything on YouTube, singing the Star Sangled Banner. I think it's just a general. That is school. the exact schedule 
of the assemblies that I had at every single public school. What's something unique about your school um, that differs it from a normal public school? I already said it earlier. You kind of had to choose what you wanted to do, like physical education or Mozart performing arts for like the base. Fuck. We'll miss you. Why would they vote for me? I thought I had like some sort of like trust system with them. I was really surprised because everything I heard from Tom sounded familiar from my school and stuff. Raise your hand if you think that the mole is still in the box and he would like to continue the game. I thought we had gotten the moles out, Audrey and Tom, so I didn't want to continue. So Haley, I, I am so sorry for saying this, but thank God, Olivia, you wanted the game to continue because I would not feel safe ending the game. Yeah, that's you're valid. still here. I, yeah. I just want to ask, what do you find that's unique in your school and something that you haven't said? Since like the classes are smaller, we get to um, like talk with the teachers more. Do you call your teachers by their first name? With some of them, it depends with the relationship. People aren't acting up as much as when I went to public school. So I feel like I just understand the, mm -hmm. the material yeah, a lot I more. Agree. But is the baseline education better than what you found in a public school? Well, first of all, I don't find myself dazing off as much because, mm -hmm. like, it's just more interesting what they're yeah. teaching about and what we're learning. In a public school, we learned just about American history, but now we're learning about, like, Roman history, Greek history. We're mm -hmm. learning about, like, Definitely. world history. It, like, diversifies. Yeah. But then again, eighth grade is the year that you would typically learn about world history but it's in like, public school. It's like I feel like we were just relearning a lot of the stuff. I regretted going into round four after Howley Express her story about being in a private school. So is this your day-to-day -day uniform? This is not my day-to-day -day okay. uniform. I just like being formal. I just like wearing this. I wear this on Thursday, go to chapel, because it's being respectful, I guess. And the rest of the days, we wear a colored uniform. We wear a polo shirt and uh, pants. It's either khaki, gray, crimson, navy, or plaid. Specific. Black. Yeah, I got it all. Do you have chapel? Oh, we have it every week. Every, every week. Thursday. Okay, same. Every Wednesday for me. So you both attend religious yeah. yes. middle school. Mine is gifted education private school. And whatever you want to do, yeah. go ahead. Our school's your... pretty diverse. Uh, yeah, that's was the question I was going to yeah. ask. Diversity. Is it like, how would you say, is there like a dominant race We have a director anything? of equity and inclusion. Yeah, so. we have a what they call the Jedi team, Justice, Equity, Diversity, and Inclusion. I lead the Gender Sexuality Alliance. Uh, there's a feminism club, Black Student Union. Are there any clubs that you have joined? Like, yeah, because yeah, I know that they offer other clubs, than students, video game and, and teachers. Club. Yeah, I'm also video part game of the club. BSU. Okay, yeah. cool, cool. I'm um, sorry, wait, what is the BSU? Yeah, Black club? Student Union. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm so okay. sorry. It's okay. Your application process was just you took a test. Yeah. 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 So, okay. Mine 40 was... grand to get in the school. Yeah. Good what about your, your, you guys? Uh, uh, they increase the price. 20 yeah. grand. I, I have like tuition aid, so yeah. I, ours is 50,000, I believe. Yeah, oh my God. Bye, Hallie. Bye. We love you. <laughs> Raise your hand if you think that the mole is still in the box and you would like to continue the game. If the lights turn green, that means you have voted out the moles and you win. If the lights turn red, that means the mole is still in the box and you lose. Oh, yes, yes sir. Oh Let's go. Two moles. This is so good. Good job, guys. Good job. Now, can the moles please step forward in three, two, one? Oh, I love how the first one eliminated him. It's okay, him. It's it's okay. I thought it was her too. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Thank you. I thought I was going to get out first round. Oh my God. Because I know that school and I was like, I don't know if that's a uniform. I told you so. Like, I knew it. Friend goes there. Yeah, all of my Wait. friends go to private school. So that's Wait, why. convincing. <laughs> my answer sounded so weird though because my school was from kindergarten to sixth grade. I think they did really well and I was really surprised actually that they were the moles. I didn't really expect that. So, is your school a public school or a private school? Or did you just get it? No, I merch? go to a public school. I basically took on the personality of my best friend. So, she goes oh, yeah. to a private you school. stole the soul of your best friend. <laughs> yeah. Everyone is rich. It's like a huge misconception because I know a lot of students like aren't on financial aid, academic scholarships, athletic scholarships. People always think that private schoolers are really bad and uncontrolled and really conniving and mischievous. I don't think that's them at all. I think they're really outgoing and passionate about what they say. I've always wanted to do that. I, I know. Wait, it's real? 
Yeah. Money things. Money. <laughs> <laughs> the joys Whoa. of capitalism. <laughs> Can you pick it all of that up? Can you pick up all the money? Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's a lot now. My bad. Maybe if they told us we had to pick it up, I wouldn't do it. I still would have. 